All right, good day, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. What is going on in your neck of the woods, your end of the world? I just posted online the video asking about your inspiration. What inspires you to build these beautiful plastic car model kits? Where does that come from? Where does your creativity come from? Look at what's on the bench. What's on the bench? Yes, it's our... Yes, on the bench is our Ford Courier. That's what we got going on there. And you know, you know, you know. This is what's happening. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with the wheels. How am I going to put them on? That is the deal. But look at this. You know what? It's coming along pretty good. Let's disassemble this in its um, state of mock-ups. This off gently. Look at this. I did this part the other day, last night, or I think. Uh, painted the rad silver aluminum because hey it's got an aluminum rad because you got to keep that small block Ford cooled and I just noticed there's a little goober on my camera lens hold on you guys can't see let's give you a little wipe does that help no something else on there son of a gun we're gonna have to what's going on huh does that uh, make a difference? I don't know. The lighting situation's not good here too. I need some better lighting. But anyways, yes, you're getting sidetracked really quickly. Aluminum rad, that's what's into the um, little Courier Pro Tour. And I went with the, the original rad in this kit because it makes everything easier. The only additions I made was the engine actually. Uh, the original rear end, where is it? Where is your rear end, Chuck? Oh my god, hold on, here's my rear end. So that's the kit rear end. It almost looks like an 8 inch Ford or Mazda, I guess, in this case. So that's the rear end in it. Engine's looking good. Look what I did with the valve covers. I was thinking black wrinkle valve covers in the beginning, but then I changed my mind because way back in the day, I did have a, a Dodge. D50, which looks like a Mitsubishi truck, and somebody put a small block Ford in it. We'll talk about that later, but I got a 82 Mustang GT engine with had Cobra valve covers like that on it, and that's what I did. I painted in between the fins, the factory blue, same color as the engine block, and then all I did was wipe the fins down with a cloth, and it highlights somewhat. So I can't see whether this is coming in clear or not, but that's what I did. Now I ran out of brown paint, so the inside panels will have to go black outside body color. That was a bit of a stupid move, right? So that's what's going on. So the engine's ready. Transmission one mount is in there. So most of it is ready to mock in a little more correct. And then once I glue that in, I can do my exhaust routing with the headers. And then I can put the drive or the rear end in and my angle on the rear end. But right now I want to get the tires mocked up. And the problem is this is the wheel backings. And it uses this. It uses a small hole on my front axles to put tires on and the same thing. This with the threaded rod, 0.62 rod. So I went and bought this rod from the hobby shop. It was in one piece, but I had to bend it because I took the bike there. We'll talk about the bike another time. My little motorbike. And uh, so I paid $1.35 for that rod. Good deal. So now I have to adapt the wheels over. So now I have to adapt the wheels over somehow to that size of rod. So this has come from a different kit, so we have to rig something up. And what I'm thinking of doing is the original rims out of this kit. I'm going to take these and I'm just going to slice off that little end. Sorry, I don't lack a wording here. I'm going to take a saw, cut that off 
and glue that onto there. And then I will have a downsized uh, wheel backing. Now if I had a lathe, I could whittle one on my own. I could uh, either fill this in. Oh, you know what? That's another idea. I could melt plastic and drill a hole. But then I have to measure everything off. So that's an option. Or if I had a lathe, like I say, I could whittle up a piece of aluminum. I could slide it in there and use it as a spacer. So that's my current situation dilemma. And we will uh, whittle something down and we'll come back and see how this works. Okay. Okay, so this is the progress. I can see, or you can see, not I can see that we cut one of those off and there we go that's what we got our little ends that will go here on the backing there so we'll have to glue them on and it's a slow process just slowly cutting away and that's what car modeling is it's a, a thing of patience you know what taking your time enjoying the moment enjoying the little things that you're doing so if you don't have patience it's gonna look ugly or become a glue bomb whichever you look at it okay how does that look first one is done I had a trickier time centering it on the rim or in the center so that was one thing and the other thing I'm gonna add is notice I took off the chrome right See, the flat spot has chrome on it. Whoops, sorry about that. And uh, this side, see, I scratched off the paint because this glue, I'm going to use this glue and let it sit overnight so it melts in really good. And I took the chrome off here because I want it to bond. This glue, or most glues, will not bond very good to the chrome. You want to melt into the plastic a little bit, so that's why I do that. And well, uh, there we go. We got it all mocked up. Looks good. You can take a look at my year, rear end. All right, now behave, behave there, Chucky, because you know what? This is a family channel. Maybe you don't want to look at my rear end. Okay, that's a little creepy. So yeah, see, everything lines in pretty good. Um, I'll have to paint it silver to finish it up. And I mocked up the front. I ended up painting these last night, the inner fender wells. The black, wish it was brown, this brown, but hey, like I said, I ran out of brown. So uh, yeah, we just have to finish things off. And I don't know, this might be the last update I'm doing on the Pro Tour truck because you know what? I got this guy. I have to have this thing finished by March and yeah it's only primered and uh, we'll have to go on to that because i got a month and a half no uh yeah a month and a half to finish this off so uh with my slow progress this might take a while so my friends you know what model on until next time my next update we'll see where things go here uh a lot of fun a lot of fun and i hope you guys are having fun in your building too so we'll see you next time and Cheers, my friends. Stay awesome.